We are in VirtualBox 5, and I'm going to show you how to encrypt your virtual machine in case you need to for compliance reasons. Now, before you can do it, you're going to need to install the expansion pack, and that's pretty easy to do. Just go to where the address you see at the top here, virtualbox.org forward slash wiki forward slash downloads. And from here, you're going to see in the middle of the page the all supported platforms for the extension pack. You go ahead and click on that and choose to download it, and then it'll automatically install when it's done if you told it to choose to open with the VirtualBox Manager. Now, once that's done, it only takes a few minutes. Now we can go ahead and encrypt our virtual machine. So pick any virtual machine you want from your list, right-click on it, and choose Settings. From here, we're going to stay on the General button at the top and click on Encryption, and click the Enable Encryption option. Then we're going to choose the drop down. You have the option to go with 256 AES, which is more compliant, but will run more slowly, or the 128 option. Of course, I always recommend the better uh, encryption if you can handle the speed issues. And then put in the password of your choice. Of course, recommend that it is going to be a password that has a lot of complexity to it. So now we're going to go ahead and get the encryption going. But before you do that, you want to look at the bottom of the screen and see if there's any uh, options that are not set right. So in this case, it says invalid settings detected. And we can see we don't have enough video memory in order to make this work. So we're going to go over to our video memory and up that to at least 24 megs. So we simply go over to the display, which is two buttons down, and we can see video memory. So we're going to increase that to 24. Now we're going to go back to our encryption, and our error is gone, and we can click OK. And now the encryption begins. So depending on the speed of your computer, the size of the virtual machine, it could take uh, uh, you know, several minutes to more than an hour to finish the encryption. Now the good thing about this is, is if you ever have a problem where your virtual machine is, is stolen, then you'll be able to be safe in case someone tries to open it, because they will not have the password to encrypt it. All right, went ahead and fast forwarded through to the end, and now our virtual machine is encrypted. So let's go ahead and start it up and watch what happens. Choose a normal start. And we can see it's got the password. Let's go ahead and put our password in and click OK. And now our virtual machine is starting. So that's how you set up encryption in VirtualBox version 5.